that's Intel's intercultural processor technology that's built into the notebook in this car is actually powered. This was demonstrated first. It's only customized, obviously. Uh, but we can do everything we can do at home via the internet on here. Right now, we're actually streaming in music. But if I wanted to, I could go to my home, I can stream in the web. If I want to go to the web and watch a particular page, I can have the weather come pop up from weather.com. I can conditions at the airport, etc. Just to prove that you actually uh, are using a live system, the music didn't stop because you're, you're uh, asking for a new website. So if you're pulling up a new website, now you get the information right here in Vegas if you'd like to do that. I can go back to home. I got a navigation system built in the car. So not only is it standard navigation, but now, instead of just finding a gas station, maybe I want to find a gas station with the cheapest gas. This will send me right there because it's internet uh, cable. I've also got a camera in this car. Actually, there's a camera built in for the back of this. See it right there. See if I turn this. There's also one in the front of the car as well. But I can tape, and then if I wanted to, I can take a video and upload that uh, to YouTube right in my car, utilizing the web. So again, WiMAX, internet that connectivity, it takes it to a whole new level. Um, the, the last bastion kind of a, we don't have it in the car. So one place we don't have it, I mean, short of having it on your phone, but that's not really the internet. I mean, you can check your email, you can maybe look at watch maybe something, but it's really choppy. Now you've got it, it's clear because it's 4G instead of 3G. It's DSL and T speech. What 4G coming to Europe? Well, that I can't answer.